Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope there's no fluff in my hair today, because I was fluff on my beanie through the last video and it absolutely killed me the entire way through. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you've been here for a while and you're not getting notifications, then unsubscribe and resubscribe, so hopefully you'll rejig YouTube's memory to give you notifications when I bring out a new video. I'm actually filming this video um, a couple of days before it goes up, um, and right now I'm really nervous about my jaded, collaboration. Nervous and excited. Um, it is like a surreal kind of moment where it's actually going to be released on Sunday. Um, so this Joel, past Joel, has no idea how it's going to go down. Little butterflies in my stomach. Um, can't wait for it to go live. If you don't know what I'm banging on about, I'll include a description, a link in the description box of this video so you can shop the collection because it will now be live. If you purchased a piece already, thank you so much. That honestly means the world to me. Even if you sent me a message just to say that you really like the collection or, um, or that you were proud of how far I've come and stuff like that also meant the world to me. So thank you so much for anyone, for anyone's kind words towards that. Today's video is a part two. Um, a while ago, I sat down and went through things that I felt like, not regret, I'm not gonna say regret because I don't really regret anything. Obviously the title of the video is Clothes That I Regret Buying Part Two, but I don't, I never regret anything. I think they serve their purpose of why I got them, um, but I'm now on reflection, looking back and thinking, um, you know, did I need to spend that amount of money? Did I need to buy both of those? Or did I need to buy that colorway, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and usually my channel is all about things that I love because I only like to focus on the positive. Um, but also sometimes you spend a lot of money on something and you think, eh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. So that is what we're gonna go through here. Okay, so the first thing, now if you've been watching me for a while, you might remember me actually unboxing these things. Um, and I do still love like all of these things. It's not that I didn't like them or don't love them or bought them for another reason. It's mainly because, I think the main reason is because I haven't worn them enough. There are a couple of things that I haven't worn a lot, um, but I think they're worth the money. But then these things, I'm like, I should have really worn these more. First thing, um, and these are beautiful. They are an insane piece. They are a pair of Valentino studded creepers. Um, I got these when I went to my friend's wedding a couple of years ago. I can't believe that's a couple of years ago now, literally. Time has gone by so quickly. Um, I got them off Essence because I really, really wanted like a nice pair of shoes to wear for the wedding to go with my suit. I love a raised sole or a chunky shoe as it were. They are an insane piece and they are beautiful, but they did set me back. I think I got them on sale between 300 and 400, but I've only ever worn them to that wedding and that was it. So now I'm like, was that worth it? Next up, now I don't want people atting me because I made such a song and dance about these. Um, I've only included one of them because I think the other one is more wearable, but... My Dior Soriyama t-shirt. I was obsessed. The collection um, shown in Tokyo was insane. The show was amazing. Um, the pieces are beautiful. This piece is beautiful too. It is a white t-shirt with the Soriyama Dior logo kind of, kind of printed on the top with like cherry blossoms underneath. It is again a beautiful piece, a beautiful design. Set me back around 400 pounds and I've just not worn it that much. I think it's because of my skin tone as well. I am quite pale. I hardly wear anything um, that white. If I do, it'll be an all white look together really. I never just wear like a white t-shirt along with other things. Like if I wear white, it's kind of all white. So the Dior T and Soriyama, although it's a beautiful collection, um, I did in fact get the other, another tee. I got the black t-shirt with the T-Rex on it as well. And I've actually worn that piece a lot more than I have this one. Um, so on reflection, did I need both colors? No. But the thing with a lot of luxury pieces is that you can resell them. So if you feel like, you know, you didn't get your money's worth or you didn't wear it as much as you thought that you would, you can actually resell them. Um, I sell a lot of my pre-loved clothes on my e-blogger site. From my last video where I mentioned clothes that I regretted buying, um, I'm currently selling my Prada shirt on there at the moment as well. So that's the upside of 
high-end luxury pieces, I guess. So if you do splurge that money, and then a few months later down the line, you think, oh, I kind of regret it. I should have bought something else, something more wearable, or something that fits in with my wardrobe a bit more, then um, you can always sell the pieces on, which is great. Obviously with fast fashion, it's kind of hard to do that. Next up, now this is a new brand, um, and they have a new shirt out, which I really, really like as well. But I bought this in a very kind of rushed, rash, last minute decision. I found out I was going to Las Vegas with Sunglass Hut last year. And I was like, I need something kind of like Versace-esque, bougie to wear by the pool in Vegas because I knew I was staying at Caesars Palace. So I blew 600 pounds on a Casablanca shirt. This is stunning, like the design is amazing. It says Casablanca Tennis Club on the back. It has a camel, it has flags, it has palm trees, it's pink and green, it has a gold button detail at the top, gold and pink. It is stunning. I only wore it once <laughs> and it's like, did I need this? Probably not. Um, this might go down as like a collector's piece. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there looking for it. Um, if once you can't get it anymore, it's gonna be hard to get a hold of. Um, and it is a stunning design. They've just brought out a new one in a kind of blue colorway, which is around the same price again. And I was like, should I buy it? It's like, Joel, listen to yourself. Don't buy the 600 pound shirt that you're only gonna wear once, honestly. Um, so yeah, I love this and it's beautiful, but I wore it in Vegas to be bougie and haven't worn it again since. So I'm like, was this worth the money? How beautiful it's though, it's so pretty. Ah. Maybe I just need to move to Vegas or go on more bougie holidays, then I can wear it a bit more. Okay, next up, I've been hanging onto this for a while and I love it, I do really, really love it. And it reminds me of going to New York with my mum because that's why I probably wore it the most. But I think it's the color. So it is the Yeezy season five kind of varsity coach jacket. The thing that made me love it the most was the back. It has a panther. I actually got this, when I first worked with Selfridges, they gave me a um, voucher. They had this in stock at the time, so I put my voucher towards this. I think, I think it was like seven or 800, and I had to put an extra 300 towards it. And I did really, really enjoy wearing it, and I thought it was amazing. But as time's gone by, um, it's become more of a collector's piece, kind of in my wardrobe and I haven't worn it that much. And I do think the colorway puts me off from wearing it because it is kind of like brown, red, and green. Um, I wish it kind of had been in a different color maybe, even if it had been green with like brown writing and stuff. I'm not really sure what would have made me wear it more, but I think now this is just a collector's piece. And I'm like, did I need to spend that money at the time? Could I have bought something more wearable and long lasting for my wardrobe? But again, Stunning. And finally, don't at me again. <laughs> but, so you know recently, this is my most, one of my most recent purchases. I panicked. I saw them on Instagram and I was like, they're amazing, I love them, gonna buy them. Found them. When it's harder to find, it makes me wanna buy them even more. When it's hard to get something, I'm like, I must find it. <laughs> it's like some kind of game in my head and I find it and I'm like, oh yes, I found it, now I need to get it. So I got them and I'm gonna give them a bit more of a chance in my wardrobe because I haven't had them for that long. Um, but again, I've only worn them once because I do find that they don't go with everything. So it is the Balenciaga Track 2s in the orange and gray colorway. Incredible design. Intense colorway, amazing, beautiful sneakers. They look so good on as well. But a few days later, I saw the gray ones pop up. So I bought the gray ones. I've worn these so much, so, so much compared to these. And in my head, I'm like, should I have bought these? Were they worth the 500 pounds? Would they be better off in someone else's wardrobe? Probably. As I said, in its early days, so I'm gonna give them a bit more of a chance in my wardrobe. I love them and I want to wear them all the time. It's just, they don't go with everything and they're not for every occasion. Thankfully, I've grown out of 
I think one thing, I had a stage when I was younger where I, was, I would buy clothes even if they didn't really fit me or even if they hurt to wear and I'd kind of wear them and I think I've grown out of that stage. I'm like, if it doesn't fit me or if, it, if I'm not comfortable wearing it, I'm definitely not buying it, even if it is the most beautiful piece ever. Um, but then you get things that do fit you and do kind of entice you that you don't really wear that much. So I want to try and move away from that and I want to just buy things that I'm going to wear all the time and it will last me a really long time. It's hard when brands keep producing such beautiful pieces and kind of dangling them in front of you like candy. And obviously some, some things are some things are trend driven and you know you will wear it for let's say one or two seasons and then you'll kind of move on from that and move on to something else you shouldn't really do that with things that cost thousands of pounds <laughs> so we'll see i can't wait for the reaction in the comments of this video um i hope that you have enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>